Hi, John here. Today, Sunday, 17th of July 2016. I want to make this um, notice to the police. That's what I'm going to talk about today. Police prosecutor. Um, <clears throat> on the record, for the record of the court, the Auckland District Court, um, on my case. We're getting back onto the 77 Cook Street case. Uh, one CIB detective, Natalie Flower D. Brown, um, arrested me here in this house. Okay, so that's um, what I want to say, and I'm comparing it with Hillary Clinton's case with um, Comey, um, James Comey, and also. Craig Gowdy and the panel of investigators on the FBI case. That's similar to what the police are doing here with me. No different from John Key. It's part of the Jesuits that are causing all these problems to the people of the world and on our lands here. I've been doing a lot of postings about that and I want to make this public statement. <coughs> clear to you that we have a problem on our hands between the Crown, corporations, Pope Francis who destroyed their corporations and trusts and his Admiralty laws that applies from the use of this flag as John Key government has that problem against me and my chiefs on these native lands. So far, they have not rebutted any of our affidavits, and this is just another affidavit on this video that I make, that I swear everything is truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me God. That me, I, John Wanoa, um, customary legal advocate and creditor of our trust, the Moai Crown King William IV Trust, and our Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court and Chief Kingi Taurua with the Chiefs of Tribes of the Confederation under this flag of King William IV authority and jurisdiction I come under that mandate to speak for this land and what is happening to defraud it and the people of New Zealand and us the Chiefs. Okay, so I um, want to make it clear that this is a legal problem that the police have taken this long from the 3rd of October last year, 2015, right till now to give me part of a full disclosure that was ordered by Judge Collins, my barrister. Shannon Withers got an order to get full disclosure from the police. They've only given me part of it and it's taken over seven months to give that to me. And I'm going to explain it and what implications it has to liable each and every corporate agent of the Crown. That's everyone singly. Pope Francis said they're liable. I'm libeling each policeman and each trust corporation person, legal person or natural person linked together in the crime. Under these Jesuit orders that you can see the hand signs in this video I'm about to show you. And so I'm putting all that together with my affidavits in writing and all the videos, over 906 videos, being 907 with this video, as evidence on Facebook. Acceptable as evidence in most courts now become common to find people and find friends from other friends talking about it. Once you start talking about things, who you are and what you do, and share it, it's not private anymore. 
it's public knowledge and discoverable. Everything I'm putting online is discoverable and discovered. There's no more. It's at an end. No one can enter into it anymore because no one bothered to respond or to refute what I'm saying with their names and their photographs of accused. That's what I'm saying about this case on Cook Street, why it's got this far and someone has done wrong and broken the 1961 Crimes Act and it's sure ain't me. I'm pointing out who's breaking the acts right here, the New Zealand Acts and Law, the Crimes Act Law. Right here. Okay, so I've got the letter today, yesterday, on the 16th of July 2016, right on the day that the New World Order kicks in with its enforcement of their laws, the Pope Francis laws. I've forbidden that to be on these lands or anything where Moai, Crown, King William IV flag, jurisdiction and constitution and authority has a financial investment interest in over the Jesuits. They do not have the Admiralty Martial Law title to seize everything off them. That's what I'm getting into this. While we're se seizing our land back into our native title. Okay, just to make it clear that I'm here and witnessing people watching what I say and do as being my evidence in any court of law. So, this is how it goes. I've got this letter here, rather than explain it, I'll turn the camera onto the video to show you what the Jesuits are up to in the courts in America. It's no different to the courts here, right through the Commonwealth, country of the world, under Queen Elizabeth, Pope Francis, and the Rothschild banks, have defrauded the people in the world with their language to deceive. In capital letters, deceived me in their language and accounts with a name that looks like mine. That's what I want to explain here and show you how they're trying to get out of this act of Hillary Clinton breaking the law and trying to think she can get away with breaking the law that was set up in the Constitution of America. The same as here, John Key is breaking the laws and saying there's no fraud here, there's no tax havens here, uh, on Panama tax havens, when there is. We're getting that thrown into this as well on Cook Street. That's another one. That's mortgage fraud that I'm pointing out here while we're seizing the lands. So with this, then I'll go through this first. Um, and then I'll go on to the video afterwards. We only got three gigabytes in this film to try and put everything in, so I'll try to get through it. Now, in this letter, I'm starting from page one right to the page five. So it goes, case file, letter, date sent 7th of July 2016. Seven months later, or in fact, 19 months later. It's taken to get a full disclosure from the court judge, Collins. Judge made an order to Sabina, CIB, Natalie Flower Dew Brown. I notice her name is in capital letters. The, the, her first name is in lowercase and in her surname in capital letters, which means she's acting in a common law court as civil in another court. She's got caught out. I'll show you how that works. Um, appear in the court back in January 15th, judge granted an order for full disclosure. Where is the other half? I haven't got seven months later, only got the end. This is the end bit of full disclosure. So the other half of it is somewhere they won't give me because that's the part that's going to show you full disclosure. You see they're hiding things like what Clinton done destroyed all the evidence. See, that's deceiving the cause of justice, perverting the cause of justice. That's what I'm going here 
um, the police are doing to cover up their tracks. Page one, Detective Sergeant John DeHia. You see, his name is in lower case, not in upper case. You see, so he's a natural person in a common law court, King's Court. And the other one with the capitals is in a Queen's Bench Court. King's Bench, Queen's Bench. That's the distinction I'm making with what I'm going as a King's Bench Court, higher authority. Right? Page one, that's that. Page two, I note that my name, John Wanoa, the Wanoa bit is in uppercase, and which means I'm a legal person. Nowhere in my arrest warrant, or it's not an arrest warrant, but arrest papers that Natalie Flower do put together, is there any common name, common natural name of John Oani Kahaki Wano. It's just got capitals, right? So she's fashioned that in her own law, not from a bar association, barrister or lawyer. She did all this herself. That's what I've got up against her. <coughs> PRN number is 1995364 for the record. It means that they've fashioned an account in someone's name. I signed to get a bail bond, like blackmail, to release me from prison. And the other counter signature, someone who signed, is the other mystery person who's acting on my trust as if they are me, beneficiary. I want the inheritance of that account disclosed because I've got a claim to it. And that other person, I want to see if they look like John Wanoa. Okay, so that's the tri trickery, trickery against the public and me here disclosed. They've got to disclose that. Okay. <coughs> Note that's me, mystery man, who signed, countersigned to my name that I signed. Someone else signed it to get the money out to pay them, pay the judge, pay the lawyer, pay the barrister, pay the police pay all the people that, that are contracted to go and lift this and that up for this case against how many people, are eight people all together that they've arrested illegally without lawyers' sealed papers, right? They did it themselves under a police logo seal that has no law of its own to stack up against a bar association barrister. That's what I'm saying to my barrister. I want that disclosed. Okay? So someone is acting as a beneficiary to that trust money and I believe it's quite a bit. It's quite a huge sum that I'm claiming as my inheritance. I want back. I want that back and audit the accounts. Okay? <coughs> as a king's surrogate king of commerce. I want to know who received the trust uh, funds of John Wanoa, the legal person, and arrested me, John Wanoa, in lower case, the natural person. I want to that disclosed. Who did that? Who is liable for doing each of these acts of crime? Under the Crimes Act 1961, identity theft. So there's been some criminal activity going on in the court and started off in my house here with Natalie Flower D. Brown here, right here. Right? That's when she took my clothes off and took me out and locked me up. All of that. I'll explain that later. Um, other crimes committed by that person stealing from that trust I have a claim to. Okay, we've done that. I noticed that Shannon Withers, my barrister from Vulcan Chambers Limited, Barristers and lawyers, just for the record, his name, surname, Withers, is in the bold capital letters, which means he is a legal person, fiction, not real. It's a company. All everyone with capital letters is a company they've made up and fashion money scam, uh, sham, to extract money out of you, the real person. Okay, so Shannon Withers is a legal fiction person. You see, he could not go into a common law court under the King's Bench Court law with a Queen's Bench Court Bar Association hat. It's, it's contradicting, it's conflicting because 
the police are writing this, not the lawyer. The police are contradicting and committing the, the, the law firm. Why do you think they got rid of my barrister out of the office? Why? The Jesuits said so. That's why I'm mm, libeling this straight on the Jesuits, what I'm putting online after so you can see what the Jesuits are doing to the court system and corrupting the courts and the governments. Okay? And they're doing that. They're doing that and ordering the police what to do. <coughs> the trustees, uh, money, use, trust, trustees, the name of that looks like mine. So someone's mirror imaging me as trustee and beneficiary at the same time. Okay? That looks like my name is deceiving me to commit a crime. So they have colluded together, they have linked themselves together and liabled each other in this one common crime, criminal activity from start go here when I was arrested and taken away into prison from here by one Natalie Flower Dew Brown detective author of her documents. Okay? Keep that in mind that it was sealed. It's not even sealed by a court. It's not sealed by the Crown. It's not sealed by a bar association, lawyer, barrister. All that charge sheet she fashioned and altered all the information and names and put them in capitals. All those witnesses. Now I see the witnesses' names are in lowercase. You see the deception of law is evident in my case. Witnesses, names are in lower case as natural persons except Scott Rees, R-E-E-S, the policeman that came to because I had rung the police station and told them that I'm going to arrest the property. They well knew from um, Philip Taylor, uh, um, CRD, in Odahu, where I live. I told him that I'm going to do what I'm doing and he alerted the uh, CRB in the city and then Scott Rees came to sort it all out and that's where we dispersed from there when I said to him everyone will leave from the office. Okay, We were doing our job following the law as far as we're concerned of the property and defaulted contracts. This is a contract flag. This is the only contract flag in the world of a king, admiralty, mortgage, authority, okay, to seize properties. This is the only flag that can do it from Britain direct, Westminster. They're watching this. They're watching what I say and do. And the courts, the High Court in London, where our complaint for this 77 Cook Street, 61 Cook Street, is placed. Um, legal person is Scott Rees is a legal person is a scam language to deceive the people of New Zealand. Colin Gordon Edwards Police that's another name Edwards in capital CDs are legal fiction people they're not real people they are companies that collect money okay police De here is a natural person. He's the one that's put this together as a police prosecutor. His name is in lower case. Why are they separating the names and making it like that? Why don't they just be normal people instead of putting capitals in? That's what I'm identifying. They have to tell you, the public of New Zealand and the world, why are they playing around with language to deceive me and to extract money from a trust account with my name on it that I've got a claim to anything that looks like John Wanoa unless we're going to see who that John Wanoa is that countersigned the blackmail bond to get me out of prison. That was the only way I can get out is to sign with a gunpoint at your head by these Jesuits to sign their documents that are repugnant on our lands. These are our lands, not their lands. They haven't got Clear title. This is the clear title authority. Straight to Britain. <coughs> okay. Brown. Uh, language to deceive. Justice. Perverts the cause of justice and the law of citizens using Jesuit law with truth with truth removed as in this video. 
Clinton investigation proof Justice Department is corrupt. In USA, John Key government in New Zealand is corrupt. It's the same TPPA company format of Jesuit order. Okay? So page three of those new disclosure documents I got, the end of the disclosure it says, Natalie Flower Du Brown, her name is in capitals. Here we go again. When she arrested me, her name was in lower case as a common law court. And she had no hat on. She was arresting me instead of the other corp uh, other constable should have been doing arresting. But she did all the talking. She arrested me herself as here, a common law court. In, and here she is as this other policeman has altered her, the, the here, has altered her name and put it in capitals. Natalie Flower Du Brown in these new documents are altered. Everything is altered by the police. Explain why your name is in capitals as a corporate person, company, legal court. That's what I want to know. I want to know. I want full disclosure of why they're doing this with language to deceive everyone in the world, not only just me. It's here, it's everywhere, right through around the world in all those countries that the Jesuits have gone into. We're cleaning up the Jesuit Act right now in those courts and the investigation in America. They are no better than us and that's what's ruining America, ruining Africa, India, all the countries that they've gone into. The Jesuits have gone through the Catholic Church, Jews, French and um, um, Roman Catholics. Both. Th those are the ones that are doing it. Page 3. Natalie Flower Du Brown, why are you acting in a common law court as a legal person yet arrested me in the wrong jurisdiction court, civil court of law, claiming money from that court? You have to be in that court from an account that has a name called John Wanoa. So they're playing around with this mystery person, I call, the mystery man, John Wanoa, or Mr. Wanoa in capitals, or Hoani Wanoa, is really not me. I'm claiming, making claims to it, and it's inherited because I signed some sort of money that's coming out, but nothing's coming to me. I want to find all of it. Okay, that's what I'm saying on this video, for the record. Shannon Withers, for the record, I'm saying this in front of you to disclose the whole lot. You wrote up your own law, arrested, arresting documents, it wasn't properly authorised arrest warrant, there was no arrest warrant, and you fashioned all the witnesses to change their names to suit legalese. Okay? Not your own approved lawyer or seal of the law, bar association or court seal. You used a police seal which is not the law office seal to arrest me as a natural person as my charge sheet on my charge sheet it doesn't appear my natural name in lowercase doesn't appear anywhere on those charge sheets only the capitals you see so you've arrested me something else as collateral for something else that's what I want to disclose what did you plan in your head Right? I want to know. And the whole world wants to know. That's what Trey Gowdy and those other fellows, Jason, is saying to the panel of investigators. We want the public of America wants to know. The public of New Zealand wants to know what was going on in your head. What were you thinking? What, how was your intention of breaking the law to get money from somewhere? That's what I mean. Uh, and it's supposed to be the constable that was here with you, he was the one that should have been arresting me, not you. You just made him take me to the jail bars. That's all you did. Just used him to take me to the... It was when you are in the back department of the Ford office, FBI, uh, CI, CB, CIB, and he's in the front office of the common law part, and he wrote his own statement, and in his statement he put your name in capitals. That's what's got you. It's got you all mixed up in wrong jurisdictions. You're not a lawyer to know that part. 
and he wasn't a lawyer to know what he was doing to liable you. He's liable you and you've libeled him and you've libeled your superiors and you've libeled Don Key and you've libeled it all the way up to the Governor General and to the Police Minister, Judith Collins, and the Justice Minister, Amy Adams, and the Governor General, Jerry Matapurai, Andrews, and the Queen. You've libeled all yourselves through the bumping of trillion pound notes on your head in a 970 million trillion trillion pound note. Okay? The British military has to pick that up and recover it from you. For the record, that's what I'm saying. Uh, trust account. Um, now, uh, from here on, it goes Ioga. Ioga, I O G H A, is the Samoan man. He was the one that came with you. He was the one that libeled you. Right? He did not arrest me. You did. As he did not arrest me, the natural person, with no hat on. Right? Illegal, unlawful. You weren't in full uniform when you did what you did because you couldn't do it. You're not supposed to because you're not that person qualified to do the arrest. Right? And no worries. I note in this disclosure discrepancy here of the police prosecutor artist of these documents that he's just given me changed the ogre name to be a legal fiction name using legal lang illegal language to deceive me and the public of New Zealand. Deceptive language to defraud, did defraud, extracted money from a trust account. I want to see who this John Wanoa, real or fake person, is collecting money, I am claiming is from an account of me in the natural person I want disclosed to me. Page 4. So that's that, that guy. Um, page 4. Now I see Hoani Wanoa. He's put Hoani Wanoa in capitals. H-O-A-N-I Wanoa. And a PRN number. That PRN number is the number they use to extract money from that account. That's what I'm not disclosed. Who put that together and where's the money? And I want the whole lot, everything of that account because I've got a claim to it now. For the record, Shannon, I want to claim all of that and take it off them. Okay? I want disclose of that account is my claim of inheritance. I want audited. I want to audit that account. Who is Hoani Wanoa? Who is that person acting as a signatory for that money to pay yourselves? Pay the judge. He's liable. Pay the police. They are all liable because they're getting paid from it. And the barrister, lawyers, Falcon Chambers, barristers and lawyers, they're getting paid from it. And everybody else and petrol in the car and expenses to arrest me and those other people that I got arrested. All that money's come from what she did to me here to make money out of me illegally and fraudulently. That's what I'm saying. The, um, everything came from that person. I want him tried. I want that person tried, that sign to get picked that money up. And the registrar, the sheriff. I want the sheriff arrested in that court. Everyone who touched that name of a mirror image of me and my Moai statue and King William IV authority. God's truth, law, authority is Moai. That's me. You have to come up against that yourself with your title. Single persons. Liable now. You're liable because I have that jurisdiction and constitution right to bill you for what you've done to me. At breaking the law of stolen identity, have stolen my identity to defraud me and that account with their money in it. Okay? So, case file, letter. Um, hang on, page two. We're going this way. Case file, letter, uh, date sent 7th of July 2016. Judge made an order to subpoena CIB Nappy Flower Jew Brown to appear in the court back in January 15th. Judge Collins granted order for full disclosure. Where is the other half of it? Where is the other half of it? I haven't seen it. My barrister has not 
done the due diligence to give me a copy of the other half. I want it before and settle out of court. I want this court squashed and every claim against everyone I'm accusing paid out. Okay? Settled. Right now. Page one, Detective Sergeant John Dehir. Page two, note, John Wanoa, PRN, mystery man, who signed the countersigned the name as beneficiary of... Am I going over the right page? Um, First, I found the uh, Vulcan Chambers. I have not been able to contact. Oh, no, I'm going on the wrong page. Okay, I'll go on this page. Who is receiving the money from that account? I have full disclosure. I want full disclosure to me since I am being accused of a crime I did not commit. Rather, you are committing crimes on my native land and chief's title jurisdiction. I am now challenging with my titles. Natalie Flower Dew Brown stole my King William IV legal authority sovereignty shirt of Admiralty Court Martial Law Authority, which is treason. She's committed treason and liable John Key and everyone to treason, uh, treason under the Crimes Act 1961, liable to hang under that law um, in claims, in hang in chains, hang in chains act. 1834 under the King William IV applies. We're still using the 1838 and 37 laws of King William IV contract. You are in a defaulted contract, Natalie Flower, Dew Brown, and everyone else I'm accusing online. The court hearing I'm doing is online, straight to High Court of Admiralty, London. Chiefs to me, Sheriff, you arrested me as a sheriff. I'm the sheriff holding the title to New Zealand land, unrebutted, uncontested, is at an end. You can't go back into anything I've said now because no one responded. And it's taken this long for anybody to respond or rebut it. Defaulted private contract on this video. This video is a affidavit sworn testimony in front of you people all over the world witnessing what I say. Swear on the oath of office to King William IV. I swear my oath of office to him and King Ernest Augustus V of England, London, still there, alive. I swear my oath of office to the Moai statue in Dunedin, Auckland, London, France, Belgium, Singapore, Washington DC, New York, Chile and Rapa Nui East Island. I swear my oath to Moai in London as my truth, sovereign authority to speak the truth. Truth is the law prevails in these cases. I'm telling the truth. It's up to you to say I'm not. Arrested. I'm being arrested illegally on the 3rd of October 2015. Taking this long to disclose to me uh, only part of a full disclosure is not acceptable. Uh, coming, you know, Compare it with Hillary Clinton case in America. I link this to the Jesuits liability on my videos to the British government, military and government to recover all the debts owed, one trillion pounds each on your heads, on each corporate trust, CEO, minister, police, everyone's head who are accused of fraud and corrupting the legal system here in New Zealand law. <coughs> Your heads and Pope Francis destroyed your laws and corporations. He's put out the motu propria and destroyed your admiralty use of that law under this flag. That if you bring these up in court, the judge I'm expecting to write out, to rule out, because it's illegal for you to use those laws even though you're using them now. We have, we have the right to use them on you because we still got a contract live in Britain, UK, Westminster Parliament. We're going there as the third country, Altair New Zealand, and England and Wales and America, we're wanting to nominate in there without the Jesuits and without all your corrupted people. We're eliminating all of that in those courts and those investigations going on in America right now. You're liable. That's what I'm saying. For the record, 
in this country and on the record in the British government, Westminster, what I say on these videos is the truth. It's for anyone to refute it publicly on Facebook or on Twitter, Google and YouTube. In front of the whole world, this is my method of running an online court case. Straight to High Court in London. Not um, Pope Francis destroyed your laws and corporations and your Admiralty Court laws, not this one that we're using under this flag, and Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court will open on the 15th of March 2016, is now in force, prevails over your laws. <coughs> 1838 and still sovereign, they're still sovereign, and I asserted that with King Todua, Chief King Todua and his Ngāpui Chiefs, Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court, is in force. <coughs> Pope Francis, New World Order enforcement is forbidden on these lands, Maui Crown lands. Pope said in motu propria, each of you is singly liable, which I charge your personal accounts, one trillion pounds each. That's British pound notes and Maui pound notes on a par. Those are our partners with this flag. Okay? They have rights to what we're claiming to be. We're claiming those mystery men and that money you're using and corrupting. Barrister Shannon Withers of Vulcan Chambers Limited. Lawyer barristers, I have not been able to contact my barrister for over two weeks since just now. And Friday, his office said he's operating in another office but would not tell me where. They just gave me a mobile number. I find that is unacceptable, extraordinary, not looking after my legal affairs, but getting paid for it out of my trust mystery trust fund, claim money, legal aid. I have issues with no service performance, no performance on the company part of law, justice, delays and costs to me in time to try to get someone to help me to bring my case to the court. I've been prevented from doing that to the people. It's not fair um, to anybody going through what I'm going, right in the face of adversity in the law system here being corrupted by the Jesuits. I have that on my mind at the moment. Prosecutor is New Zealand Police. New Zealand Police is prosecutor, not the real person. I'm going to identify for the record who is the prosecutor so I can bill him straight before he opens his mouth. Okay, so I can bill him, liable them in front of the High Court, London, our legal Maui Crown Hapu King William IV flag sovereign monarch authority partner. So we're in partners with them. They gave the, he gave the Dehia, that person Dehia, gave this phone number 309-4925. That, I guess, is the F. CI, CIB in Auckland Central Police Station. For the record, for the record here, I better, better say it now, I swear, I swear this is my sovereign, solemn truth and unrebutted statements of claims to what I say is the truth and nothing but the truth, so help me God. My oath is in God and in my spirit statue standing in London and New York, Washington DC, New Zealand. And I swear my oath of office to King William IV, I swear my oath of office to King Ernest Augustus V, living in London, inheritor to King William III, King William IV, reign ahead of King James and the Catholic Church, heretics, kick out of Westminster Parliament and London and England land source. I'm saying, I'm making these statements on our behalf of our chiefs. I swear my oath to my chiefs in this country, the native, um, under Maui statue, memorial, doctrines of discovery, title to the Pacific Islands and the world for that matter. I'm swearing my oath to that as well as I um, swear my oath of office to the common law people of the world who are supporting us 
and led me to do this job for the sake of freedom to the world and the people made accountable. Okay, so that's that. I want to turn your attention to the video now. I'll turn the camera this way and try to get as much as I can in the end of the video and play this. Romans chapter 2, verse 8. To those who are selfishly ambitious and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, wrath and indignation, there will be tribulation and distress for every soul of man who does evil of the Jew first and also of the Greek. This word right here, unrighteousness, means injustice, wrongfulness. You guys know that the FBI director has done the most unjust thing there possibly could be. And the reason why he did is because as you're looking at the House Oversight Government Reform Committee meeting they had on July 7, 2016, questioning the FBI director on what he knew and what is really going on with Hillary Clinton scandalously and irresponsibly using her home computers for top secret information. You see what's really going on here? This guy right here, while James Comey is giving his oath to swear to tell the truth and nothing but the truth, what does this man on the House Oversight Committee do. He gives them the first sign of putting his right hand, in this particular case because it's outside of the lodge, it is the left hand, with his fingers and the thumbs separate which makes two squares. You see this right here? You see the same image? He is telling the FBI director, that he has to have the sign of silence. You see it right here also? Two fingers to the mouth is the sign of silence. Because these mind control slaves swore a death oath in the Masonic Lodge, and that death oath has them under coercion, and that death oath supersedes the oath to tell the truth and nothing but the truth. You see how they pervert justice? You see it right here? This is a Freemason telegraphing and telling to this Mason to keep silence about the truth. Here you see another one. It is done also again. It's also called the sign of admiration. All this injustice, unrighteousness that the Bible talks about, whenever the Bible uses the word unrighteousness, the literal sense of that word is injustice. You wonder why there's no justice in the land? Because justice is perverted by these heretics from the new Scottish Rite religion that was documented, as we have been studying, in Jonathan Blankard's expose on the Scottish Rite. That's where these images come from. So, as you see it here, he's giving him the oath to swear to tell the truth and nothing but the truth. And what is it that happens? The Masons come in and tell them to be quiet, What's the or end? it's going to be as you see this image right here. You see the noose around the head? This is how these mind control slaves the, are uh, threatened when they swear these oaths. You see this wicked man over here? What's this? Watch what goes on here. You will see that he actually gives them the Freemasonic hand sign, also telling him to hush up. This answered in the affirmative. Uh, Look Mr. at this. Comey, the, the floor is yours. You can take as long or as short as you like. If you have any. You see the finger go up there? You see what he's telling him? This is another oath. He swipes it across his neck, telling him if he says anything contrary to what the hierarchy of the Scottish Rite wants, that's why these guys, they don't care about Black Lives Matter. They only care about what the Scottish Rite is coercing them into mind control. There you saw the swipe across the neck. 
look at it again. If you have any written statements... You see, it's subtle, but it's there. But there's no doubt that this mind control slave has told him not to tell the truth. And it is as the Bible says. But those who are selfishly ambitious, these mind control slaves that have swore death oaths that supersede the oath to guard, protect, and defend the Constitution, and do not obey the truth, but obey injustice, wrath, and indignation, there will be tribulation and distress for every soul of man who does evil. Of the Jew first, and also of the Greek. Part of the reason why we do these videos is to show you that these people can never have peace. They can never have a life without distress of their soul because God has promised that he's going to distress their soul. But the Bible says in the same chapter 2 of the book of Romans, verse 10, But glory and honor and peace to everyone who does good, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For there is no partiality with God. To do good is not to do these wicked hand signs. It is not to pervert justice by only representing a few from a cult that has hijacked the world. To do justice is to love righteousness, which these people cannot do because they are under coercion by this wicked cult of the Scottish Rite. Remember, these were invented by the Jesuits, these hand signs and these degrees. And the Prime Minister, in John Key, as we talked about in our video exposing this. the Scottish Rite. And some Scottish of the right. latter degrees were also invented by a Jew named Steve Moran. That's why you see the Jewish star right here. Of the star of the Kabbalah. Our next video will expose more on this star. So stay tuned, but this has been an expose showing you the true reason why the whole system is rigged and justice is perverted by these evil and wicked men. Don't follow their example. Those who have selfishly enslaved themselves to the death oaths of secret societies like the Scottish Rite will only have distress of soul because of all the evil injustice those initiation rites facilitate. Now you know the truth, now you know why Hillary has gotten off, because the wicked hand signs of these wicked doers prevents justice from really happening. Hope in the Lord, he is our hope, he is the anchor to our soul, and be believing his gospel, for it is the only thing that can keep you out of the wickedness of these evil wicked men. In Jesus' name. Here we go. I'm so happy that we've managed to get through this video without the video running out. And I just wanted to finish off by just showing you the um, um, Well you're at the right place I'll today. Just turn this off. Every day. Maybe I'm the only host, one of the few hosts. So <clears throat> I wanted to show you the, uh, putting these on Facebook now, these pictures, you'll see the arrows where I've marked them of those hand signals. See that man there in the black black man? He's, he's evil. And this man here, Comey, with his hand up, they, they put it, the, the left hand is the hand of the Jesuits, and when they put their right hand up, it's not in the Jesuits' order. There, see the left hand there, the, of that man there? He's, he's a Jesuit, to a Jesuit Comey. So they're signaling to each other in a court here of... Um, uh, um, investigation. These these are attorneys and and legal people that are challenging the justice system, and these guys are carrying on in that fashion. This is John Key and Jerry Mataparai, the the Governor General in New Zealand, doing the same thing here with the Scottish rights. And that's what issues I have with them, and corrupting the system here, the same as what they're doing there. So. I'll just finish off the video and put it online and just to finish off what I set out to do, which I'm thankful that we got through that video with all of that on, but I just want to make it clear to you all watching and you are witnessing 
for every statement I make publicly and internationally of what the cabal and the Rothschild banks and the Queen herself giving consent of a King's Bench Court, King Admiralty Martial Law to Obama that we want removed. We want to take that law off him with our chiefs here in New Zealand is the only way in the world to tackle a monarch problem is to use the king's monarch and us monarch, the chief's monarch, to do that job because we are in a private contract, the same as what the queen is in a private contract with the iwi, um, plastic Maori I call them, they are mirror image Maori that was invented by the crown corporations to mirror us the native. The same as what they're doing with these capital letters, mixing up language with lowercase letters, is mirror imaging me as a model um, injured person. They have injured my person by coming in here and arresting a natural person, but the natural person's lowercase name is not appearing on their documents. Only the capital names are appearing as John Wanoa, and that's the offence. That is the offence. I've marked them all out in the New Zealand Crimes Act 1961. How many acts they have broken? First of all, you've got treason. And the treason comes from John Key. His private interests under the Queen's Admiralty, Vice Admiralty of the Governor General, are corrupted with these Jesuits. That's what I'm pointing out and making a model of my case, where the police have only just given me part of a disclosure, not the full disclosure, it's the same as Hillary Clinton getting rid of the information and the evidence, destroying it, and just as well Putin and uh, Snowden have picked it up to throw back into the court and expose it. It's the same as what I'm doing, exposing the mystery man where they make all their money from hijacking you and your trust account with the birth certificate. They're using that of ship of admiralty here, the law of the sea, to fashion their documents as if they're us. And they're not going to get away with fashioning me in this court hearing. I'm conducting it online. That's what the High Court in London, Rolls Building, was set up to do in Fetter Lane. It was set up to deal with fraud cases like this direct into the court. And they've got to go there. If I put them into that court, they've got to find their way there. I don't have to go there. And John Key and them have to go there at their own expense to lose the case. Because they have not responded to all my accusations. If the video cuts out, it means I've managed to get everything in it. So I thank everybody watching all these videos and for the British military watching as well because they are our partner to recover all the debts owed and eliminate their Jesuits in their Westminster Parliament and some of them have gone with the Scottish out with um, Nicola Sturgeon. She's part of that uh, uh, regime of Scottish rights. The Scottish put that together and the French took it and made it what it is now, lethal and fraudulent, corrupted system inside the EU Parliament, NATO, UN, <coughs> federal state, US federal state, United States of America, all those companies with capital letters and apostrophes besides natural letters, those are all corrupted by the Pope and Rome, uh, Vatican City, private company, and that's why Pope destroyed all those laws so that it would stop the corruption and stop people like these ones doing it. And John Key's not excused. And Matapai, Jerry Matapai, they've got a trillion pound notes on your heads now. You're liable. I'm saying that now publicly. I've said it up, up in Napui. I've said it online. I've said it on videos. I'm saying it again on this video for the record. And my barrister, he's being paid. He's liable to this um, scam 
proof. It's not his fault. They put his name in there, this De here policeman, Detective Sergeant John De here from the Auckland Police Station of CIB, has put his name, my barrister's name, in capital letters. I find that offensive. I find that very offensive because he didn't ask them to put it in there. He put it in there and wrote up different information from the original information that Natalie Flower knew bound together. So they're contradicting themselves and they've got a conflict of interest amongst themselves. That's the problem. They're not lawyers. I've been learning a lot from lawyers to, for my own native lands to find out who is doing what wrong and breaking whose law. You see, I'm going under those New Zealand Crimes Act laws and they've broken that many. The Treason Act is what John Key and the Governor General, I'm holding them to that, for breaking that because they're only looking after their private interests of the Queen and against the interests of public of New Zealand and us, the Chiefs. They have gone and <coughs> duped everyone for their own needs and wants. Okay, so really that's it for this video and I hope you get something from it because I'm wanting to um, bring our chiefs together here through, right through the whole indigenous world because this is for you too. I'm acting on the part of native indigenous people of the world. Not so much what they're doing in the black world, in, in ISIS and all that. That's different. That's just, we don't do things in the Maui world like that. We are not that. We are straight, no guns, no violence, no nothing. Just Maui statue and native spirit. The American Indians are similar to us and all the other uh, uh, indigenous countries have their own religion and beliefs. We have our own, we share our own with everybody in the world, but we are being picked on by in particular Queen Victoria picked one of our Maui statues and took it to London 1868. That's when America lost its sovereignty to Britain right that year. A topaz, HM Topaz, ship of Admiralty, picked that up and that started off the Admiralty free passage through the world and prize possessions on these contracts off in our time from 1835 onwards. So in 1868 they found out what a Maui is all about and they're using that, our title. Maui has a Ahu under its base and the whenua is the land. Ahu whenua is what God's title is. And Queen Victoria put it in London and hid him for over 100 years. And that's why I'm going to England for, to stand beside him. Either take him home or stand there with him. I'm going to stand with him as the ambassador of New Zealand, ahead of Jerry Mataprai Andrews. He's an Andrews. He's not a real Mataprai. He's borrowed the name, the same as all those people with fake names. Anybody with a fake name, it's easy to find any Maori name and find where they came from. That's what I do. Ask them, who are you? Where you come from? How did you get here? What authority got you here? And how long are you going to stay for? When are you going? That sort of thing. You see, that's what Trump is doing now in America. Saying to those people, if you don't follow our law, out you go. Haven't even had the American Indians say anything yet because they've got to have a say too. What about you? Where did you come from? How long are you going to stay? Are you going soon or now? Right. That's, that, you know, they, they are not going to say that because they are waiting for them to finish using the land so they can fix it. Ah, all the damage and the injuries. John Key, your government is corrupted. It's fraudulent. It has injured me. Your agents have injured me and you're going to have to pay for that. <coughs> the British military and Anex, Anex debt collectors company, I paid them to recover all the debts from you and your assets anywhere in the world. This flag takes us free passage through 250 countries in the world we have chosen and it'll find all your assets and seize it with 
these documents we have of our own. We have the authority.